So the idea is that we would be putting random bytes into the password before we hash it. So that way, if two users have the same password, both of those passwords before being hashed have random byte data creating two different hashes. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So we'll come over into our Python script, okay? Let's come over into our crypto module, and then we will need to create some salt, okay? So salt will be some random bytes. So we'll say salt bytes is equal to OS. 16 random bytes is the minimum length that's recommended that you use. And then we need to add the salt bytes with the password bytes. Notice that we're working on a byte level. A common mistake that I see Developers will add the salt and the password as strings. And this can create some inconsistencies with the cryptographic operation. So take note here that we're actually working on a byte level. So now the salted password bytes is equal to the salt bytes plus the pass bytes. Okay. Then we can go ahead and pass it into our hashing algorithm. So let's go over into our database. Let me just clear out all the users, right? So now there's no users, right? Starting from scratch, we'll have user one. Password one, let's go ahead and register that user, select all users. And there you notice we have a different hash this time. Still password one, okay? If user two were to come and register with password one, notice different hash again, same password, different hash. And if they were to look up this hash in one of these lookup tables, there would be no results. So that's one problem solved. Actually two problem solves. First, we're protecting rainbow table lookups, right? We're protecting ourselves from these password hash lookups. And then we're also protecting the users who have the same password. So now if an attacker were to breach this database, there would be no evidence for them to believe that these two passwords are the same. 